All right, we're here with Cecil, um, and they've got a couple of new uh, air rifles and a new air pistol and some other stuff um, that we're going to take a look at here. So what's different in this lineup that you've added this year? Well, we've added a, a couple of more semi-autos. Um, we've added some price point guns, and we really what it comes down to is we listen to the customer like we normally do and provide them with what, what they wanted. Um, let's uh, make it easy to start from the bottom and work our way up. Last year at IWA, they debuted the Sortie pistol, semi-automatic pistol. IWA. IWA is the uh, the European shot show. They have they introduced the Sortie pistol. Well, everybody was asking for a tactical stock, and we understood, and we were designing a tactical stock, but it wasn't done yet. So we brought in the Sortie pistol last year. But now this year we're going to bring in the Sortie Tact. It's not going to be until the second, third quarter of, of 2018 that it'll be available uh, once production catches up. But we will have the Sortie, sortie Tact with a collapsible stock. It has a Picatinny rail on the back here that the stock mounts to. So you can remove the tactical stock if you want and use it with, as a pistol. It's just a semi-auto? Semi-auto, correct. And as far as calibers, what calibers is this sort of? 177, 22, and 25. The 25 wasn't available last year, but this year the 25 is available. All right. And um, what does this retail for? This one retails for $749. Free charge gun. Any idea? It's a small air tank, so you're not going to get a You're going to get two magazines out of it. Two magazines. Depending on caliber. Um, 14 shots per magazine in 177, 14 shots per ma or 12 shots per magazine in 22, and 10 shots in 25. So two magazines worth. So 28, 24, and 20. This is a nice light solution. Yes, it is. Great backpack gun. Yeah, I mean, you can carry it all day. Uh, it all. Is this suppressed here? No, it's not suppressed. This is all the shroud and everything. It's for the, um, it, it works your semi-auto action. It's what cycles the bolt. It's a gas operated system. It's not double action trigger. It's not, um, it's not a, uh, an electronic system. It's gas operated, semi-automatic. It looks like uh, uh, these stocks, I guess it's not available right now. But not yet. Soon. And uh, I would expect that'll be a pretty popular mm -hmm. uh, little, RVs right, and then we added semi-auto to the Galatian, um, and it, it's the same same basic operating system. The the bits and parts are a little bit different, designed to fit in this shotgun style Galatian stock, or, or the receiver. I mean, excuse me. It has the adjustable tactical pistol grip stock. Comes with open sights. The sortie tack will also have open sights on it when it comes and you can take them off and put an optic on it like we did. You can remove the open sights and put an optic on the Galatian if you want also. Same thing with the Galatian, it's gonna be a 3,000 uh, 3, PSI fill between both, both of them are 3,000 PSI fill as opposed to the 250 bar of our other semi-autos. But you cut a lot of weight, um, but as the trade-off is you're gonna lose a little bit of shot count with that less volume. So you're only gonna get two magazines out of this also. One thing I like about the new guns, I think all of them too, that we haven't mentioned, is the, uh, it's got the 3 8 inch rail and the Picatinny rail. Yes, you have the, the you have, it's a uh, 11 millimeter and 22 millimeter rail on all the PCPs. So if you like one system, do it that way. If you like the other system, do it that way. Exactly. And, um, Back up, what yeah. is this one going to retail for with the semi-auto? No, it's $999, yes, sorry. Okay. Um, and then we move on to, you know, like I said, we, we were listening to the customers. We'd like to provide what the customer wants, what the air gunner wants. We listen to the air gun community. We're air gunners, you know, um, and I've, I've been in the air gun community for a while. So we, we're really look, 
focusing on it and getting the customers what they want. And they want a, a more affordable entry level PCP, lighter weight. They want a PCP that'll work. That's you know really an, an entry level PCP that's sturdy. That's not not a CO2 gun that you made be a PCP. So we listened and we created the Flash series, which we have the Flash Pup right here, and then we have the Flash right above it there with the synthetic stock. The Flash Pup, it has a hardwood stock, full pup configuration, two-stage adjustable trigger, manual safety. That's one of the other things that you know we learned had been asked for. This is our Quattro trigger, like the Bull Boss. Same configuration as the Bull Boss, so it's already a well-known trigger. It's a well-known system, so you know that that's going to work. Um, it has our QE system, QE shroud suppression system, the, the dual rail. You're going to get 40 foot-pounds of energy in 25, right about 38 foot-pounds of energy in uh, 22, and 29 foot-pounds in 177. You're gonna get two magazines out of it. It has the same count, shot count as the semi-auto magazines, but there's a polymer magazine to help cut on weight. This one weighs in at just over six pounds. Without the scope. Without the scope. And you have also have a price point of $399.99. A bullpup, full power gun for $399.99. And it's a good looking gun, actually. Yes, it is beautiful. We love these stocks that are made in our factory in Turkey. Hardwood, great, great workmanship that goes into them. Yeah, and I like that you put the safety here. That's a nice feature for, for me anyway. Yes. On the Flash, you've got the synthetic stock, all the same features that the Flash Pup has. You know, you're pretty much a, a standard sporter configuration. You've got a Monte Carlo style stock with the raised cheekpiece. It's skeletonized on the back to help cut on weight. This one weighs in at under six pounds. So again, we listened to the customer. They wanted lighter rifles. They wanted the manual safety, but they wanted a, a, an entry level rifle that had power. It was durable. I mean, you look at this, this is solid. You're not gonna have issues with, you know, the gun beginning bump, POI, losing POI by bumping the gun or anything, it's solid. Um, we've actually had one of our guys out on a squirrel hunt and he fell on his rifle and it did not change the POI. Um, I mean, if you drop it off a 10-story building, then that's another sure, question. Sure. But um, And it's a totally new system. It's not the AT-44 or the BT-65 just warmed over. This is a whole new platform. We didn't just take something and turn it into a, a entry-level rifle. We made a purpose-built rifle that works like it's supposed to. The valving is similar, but it is not the same. It's a different valve than any of our other rifles. Bottles are 168 cc, or uh, correction, 165 cc. 3,000 psi fill. The performance is the same between the two guns. It's just basically the stock is different. If you want a bullpup, you'd go with this one. If you want a lighter, um, carry all day gun yep. for. You look at something like this. Yeah. And this one retails for $299.99. <laughs> and then you have the bully, lastly. This is uh, based off our Hercules. It's a bullpup version of the Hercules. Here, let me pull this thing down. What we did is, again, listening to our customers and providing what they're asking for. They love the Hercules, they love the power, they love the fact that it went all the way from 177 up to 45 caliber, but it was it was a big gun, and it had a little bit of weight to it with all that, that volume with the aluminum bottles. And they wanted carbon fiber bottles to cut weight. So, with the Bully, we changed to a carbon fiber bottle, still 500 cc, still 250 bar, but you've only got one bottle on the Bully. So it cuts weight, but you're losing about half the air volume. So you're going to get about half. You're going to get right at half the shots that the Hercules gets. Are these bottles that you could take out and put a new one in? No, no. These are these are fixed bottles. Yes. Um, in order to import the bottle, the gun with a bottle, um, over I believe it's over 265 or 
300 cc's, it has to be fixed to the gun. Otherwise, you have to have it DOT certified, and, and it, it's a, it will add a lot to the cost of the rifle. Um, and you have our two-stage adjustable trigger on it, manual safety. Unlike the, the Hercules had an auto safety, the, Her, the, uh, the Bully has a manual safety or, and the two-stage adjustable trigger. Storage for two magazines in the bottom of the buttstock. Except for the 45 does not have two magazines because of the width of the magazines. There's just not enough stock there. Um, but you're you're going to get three magazines out of the the 177, the 22, and the 25. 30, you're going to get about you're going to get about two magazines worth, just over two magazines, uh, which would be 24 shots in the 30 cal. And Is this something you could scope? Yes, it has a. A nearly full-length optics rail on top comes with flip-up adjustable diopter sights. Oh wow! So you can mount an optic on this, leave the open sights on there, so you can use either use like see-through mounts. And this has the same uh, 11, or 11 millimeter or picatinny. Exactly, exactly. Um, all of our PCPs have that. Yeah, it's a good move. And there's the fill gate safety here. So you cock the rifle, and then you fill it. You can put the lever forward, it stays open. When you pull the trigger, it will let it close when the hammer comes forward. And what that's for is so you have the hammer back off the valve when you fill it, and that's intentional. It's not, you're not supposed to pull this back or, um, or just pull this back a little bit and then let it rest against your fill probe. If you do that, it will uh, you'll end up messing up your O-rings on your fill probe. We don't want you to do that. Cock the gun all the way, make sure it's unsafe, close the lever, and then go ahead and fill your rifle. Cut a lot of weight, you got a carbon fiber bottle, you've got plenty of energy, 45 caliber, you're getting 290 foot pounds of energy. So that is definitely enough for medium to smaller large game. Okay, and this retails? This will rate retail for $899. Okay. And we didn't talk about this earlier, but this is kind of a year of the regulator in the uh, mid to lower range guns. Yes. Is that something hot sauce? None of our guns are coming from the factory with regulators. Um, we wanted to give real hunting power. Um, and with a regulator, you, you, you kind of like... There's a trade-off. There's a trade-off. And we decided in our... our normal thing that we do is we go for serious solid impact. We make hunting guns that you're going to take out in the field you're going to use and you can depend on. Um, you know, it's kind of that KISS principle. You know, keep it simple, silly. Um, so we do have regulators for mo the majority of our line and we will have regulators available for these and maybe next year um, later this year, maybe one a version will come available with a regulator in it. But currently, um, these will be available in March in the unregulated versions. But later on, if somebody wanted to put a regulator in, they would be supplied by Hot Song. Yes, we will make a regulator for these guys. Well, that gives them the option if they want it or not. Okay. So that's the rifles we've been talking about. But Hot Song is now in the uh, CO2 pistol 1911 business. So what do we have here, Cecil? It, it's not just a CO2 pistol 1911, it's a pellet firing CO2 pistol 1911. So you're getting that extra accuracy, extra energy, extra velocity, um, and you won't have, you can use a lead projectile or even the alloys have a lot less op, ep, or potential to ricochet. So, and you know, there's a three gun competition with air guns. If you look around, you can find that. Uh, Shootright.org does it. Um, and this would be awesome for that competition. Or just the steels, air gun steels competition. But what you do is you have your magazine, your CO2 12 gram goes in there, right. and you have your pellet magazine. It just slides off the magazine. There's a little axle here, and a slot it fits into. You also see there's a little diagram of a pellet right there, that's the back of it, that's where you load your pellet from. You load a pellet, turn it, load a pellet, turn it. It also comes with a cleaning rod, clearing slash clearing rod, that also has a pellet seeder on the back of it. 
so you can seat them in here because we all know that the skirts on pellets aren't all the same size. So sometimes you'll find one that's a little bit large that you're using, you can go ahead and just seat it so that it will, won't get caught on the edge as, as it rotates. Now we've got um, six spaces here and six spaces here, is that right? That is correct. So you have 12 rounds when you load this magazine. You just clip it back on there after you got your CO2 in there. You fire six rounds, drop your magazine, clip it, slap it back up in and there. And you got the other six. Yeah. Exactly, just a real quick change. We will be making the magazines, the full unit available. Plus, we have the, um, the pellet magazines will also be available separately. Um, the 1911 is available now. The extra magazines and pellet magazine portion will be available later this year. Um, I believe July time frame, we should have the extra magazines and, and pellet magazines available for it. It's a non-blowback because we wanted to put all the energy downrange, not waste energy on making it blow back. So you're getting 430 feet per second with a match h and match green pellet. As far as the hammer and the trigger mechanism, how does that work on this? The It's a double action only trigger. You don't cock the hammer. The hammer is mainly for looks. It, it, I got you. So, mm -hmm. um, so this is something that if I were a 1911 owner, I want to shoot in the garage, it would be something that I'd be familiar with and, and would be similar without going out to the range. Exactly, exactly. It works well for that, you know, and also for those people who conceal carry, you know, you can use it to train right. in the yeah. garage and, you know, actually get the feedback of actually hitting a target. Yeah. All right. What does this retail for? This retails for $89. So. All right. Well... And like um, I said, this should be available um, in the next few days to a couple of weeks as soon as the retailers get them established, you know, set up on their site. Okay. Great. Well, listen, we've covered a lot of territory here at Hot Sawn from compressors to bullpups to uh, economy line guns and uh, more powerful guns, uh, semi autos. And I appreciate you taking the time to chat with us, Cecil. It's pretty interesting stuff coming out of Hot Sun. Yes, we try to listen to the customers, bring out what the customers want, and that's what we do. We deliver every year. All right, so, thank you. Thank you very much.